Hey guys, welcome to our third video in this series where we're, in this series where we're looking at arrays. So for this video, what we're going to be looking at is summing the elements of an array. So it says that we should write the statement, the total of the elements in the following array S and then display the total. And we're given some variables here and an array so we got a constant size and we got the, the integer array and we got total variable also so what we're going to do is just copy all of this because i know that we're not going to type it if you would type it or if if anything then just comment it in the comment section but if you got it why would you type it so what we're going to do is now is to include or or IO stream and then we're going to be using our name or standard library so let's make our structure here which is our main and the main entry point for all functions where all functions everything in the program that's going to be run and what we're going to do now is to case all of that thing that would have just made the coding much easier and much quicker because that would be probably the hardest part in this because this is not a very hard code so what we're going to do now is a for loop because you know anything you're going to do with elite with an array printing or accessing any element you have to use a for loop. So what we're going to do is have a in let's say an in x yep, and equal that to zero. And we're going to check it from well for it is for x is less than or equal to the array size and we're going to increment that by one. And now what we're going to do is simply all we need to do here is to just say that the total which we have been given earlier the total is is let's say plus equal so you know that it is synthetic sugar that's simply saying and that let me put the rest of it so s yep that's what the name of the array so it's simply saying total equal total plus the array with the elements and all we need to do now is to see out the array so we're going to see out array s and pass the we're going to be passing the array size to this that let's just give it some space to see well we don't need any space because we're, we're just printing out well the total is what we should be printing out actually we don't need any space because we're just printing out one thing so let's run that compile and run and That should not this should not be here this should be down here I'm sorry about that that should be down here and as you can see now we have 350 so what I could do now is to to run our calculator to make sure that we have the correct answer here so that I'm not giving you a phony answer. Let me just clear it out. Alright, so for our first element we have 10 plus 12 plus 123 plus 12 plus 34 plus 48 plus 56 plus 12 plus 34 plus 12 and let's and 
as you can see we equal that and it's equal to 350 as as you could see when we would have run this and make sure you do not run it with this on the inside it should be on the outside all right great so as you can see now when this is finished compiling we have 350 thank you very much for taking the time out to watch this video please remember to like share and subscribe if you have any questions please feel free to comment it in the comment section thank you Thank <music> you.